TGIF DIYers. It is a cold day today. Kind of a slow start to the morning. Uh, I had a couple errands to run. I had to get to the bank and uh, a couple other things for our trip next week. Just getting to work. It's like 9.40. Uh, today I got a lot of stuff to do at work and then I'm going to try and get out a little early go pick up the kids because we've got Cardinals tickets for the four of us and we're going to go and have a good time and hopefully the rain holds off. It's gonna be a chilly night, I think, but it should be a nice, you know, nice night for a ball game. I probably won't be able to record a ton today, so um, most of it will probably be from my phone with uh, the kids later at the at the ball game. So I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for that now. Okay, let's get the day started, DIYers. The weekend starts. We got to go pick up the kiddos, and then we're gonna go home. Uh, maybe have a little dinner. We'll see. Depends on how long it takes to get over to them um, and get home. Then heading to the baseball game. Should be a fun night. It looks like the weather's gonna hold out. There's some storms around us, but I think those clouds are huge. I really hope those all pass us though. Wow. That's crazy. We're here. It's time for the Cardinals game. Everybody ready? Yeah! We're gonna catch a ball? Yeah. Yeah? I wanna be I wanna be on TV. You wanna be on TV? Yeah, me too. That. And the Cardinals are very proud of the fans that donate some various charities through Cardinal baseball experiences on the field tonight through a generous donation to benefit Circus Flora. Please welcome Eric Van Lumen, Kate Van Lumen. Gallant and Julia Gallant. Now it's Eric's turn to have Yeah, he is. All right, Carla fans, please welcome Elizabeth Weicker to the field. Elizabeth is a guest. Hey guys, Fred Bird's over there. Fred Bird's right back here. Oh my god, my god. I'm going to say hi. Keep walking, come on. So the baseball game was a huge success. We won seven to nothing, or well at least we were winning. We were winning seven to nothing before we had to leave. 
But the kids got to meet Fred Bird. How awesome was that? Cat, what else cat. did you guys get? We got, we got posters, we got hats, we, we almost caught a ball. Yeah, that, it went up. Yeah, like three foul balls came our way, but they just went a little too high. <laughs> and look at my hat. That's cool hat. I Everybody's hats are cool. I love it. I am watching. you. I'm around all weekend. Right. So if you need anything, just holler. Sure. All right. Well, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Look forward to meeting you on Wednesday in person. Yeah. All right. Take care. You too. The dude himself. I love my life. I do. I love my life. That's a good life. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, like, I love that. I, I love that. I love talking with people about development and helping, not doing it for them, but helping them gain a better understanding of what they're working with. I love that. Full disclosure, I, I don't think I've even talked about this, but uh, this is my second mentee. There's a company called Launch Code here. I'll link to them down below. Um, they have uh, kind of started this, not kind of, they have started this great uh, organization that basically sets companies up with new developers. Not in the sense of like, hey, we have a developer that will work for you, work full time and be awesome. We have a developer that is learning, has a, an eagerness to learn, and would like to do an apprenticeship with you for, I think it's six or eight weeks. I could be wrong. It could be six months. I forget. It's been so long since I've actually worked with an apprentice from there. I think it's six months. It might be six months. I don't know. It probably says it on the website, but they offer this. If you want to be to start looking for apprenticeships, they've started doing this mentorship program. I did their first one uh, about four months ago, and worked with a young kid, sharp, sharp guy, good guy. Uh, and they're doing a second one, and they, you know, email me and said, "Are you interested?" It's a, it's an in-person version of Tech Guy DIY, basically. Of course, I'm interested. So. Uh, you know, so this is uh, my second mentee. Uh, seems like a good guy. This is the first time we've gotten to meet. With me being sick and everything, it just didn't work out. At our supposed to be kickoff meeting, I already had plans uh, that I could not break, uh, and I missed it. And I told him that we would hook up, and then I got sick, and I feel terrible. But he seems like he's on a on a great path already. He knows more about this than most of the developers I've talked to that actually claim to know React. I enjoy this. I enjoy working with other developers, even if they're not, you know, not very experienced. That's anywhere I can help and help grow a developer or a person. I love. I enjoy that. I enjoy talking to a person and just be like, "Hey, what are you dealing with? Is it development? Is it personal?" I'm no psychiatrist, and I, to be honest, uh, the only thing I can give you as far as guidance is how I've messed up in my life. You know, I have a pretty good track record going now, but prior to where I am now, I, I did some stupid shit. So, you know, I'm no expert. I'm no moral authoritative figure at all. Uh, but I have lived an atypical life, I think. You know, I've made some mistakes and I've done some dumb things, but at the same time, life is good. My buddy Kurt, he always talked about delayed reciprocity. And if you do good things for people for the right reasons, eventually that will come back to you. Just a quick side note, I find it really interesting the way people respond to a dad with his kids. Walking into the stadium, literally, not even the whole game, from my car to our seats, I had four different people, not even together, make the same comment, not the exact same comment, but similar comments that allude to, oh man, dad has his hands full today. No, I don't. 
I'm their dad. They're my kids. They're awesome. They're not a handful. I love this time with them. And sure, it's a little bit stressful when you have to maneuver three kids around a stadium full of people that don't pay attention to what the F they're doing. Yeah, that's a little stressful because I don't want anybody to run into my kids or my kids to make somebody trip. Other than that, it's not hard. It's not a handful. They're my kids, and I love spending time with them. And I bet most dads are like that. So maybe it's kind of like tell, like saying, oh, dad's babysitting tonight. No, they're my kids. I'm parenting. Babysitters, you pay. Parents, parent. Rant over. Rant over.